Today is December 4, 23. So Margarita, we're going to focus on this, Jaden. Focusing on taking these notes. It's something new. It's what we've been learning. Just a little, one more step. Okay? So, <clears throat> we are solving multi-step equations. Multi-step equations. They're called multi-step because it takes multiple steps to solve. Not one step, not two steps to solve, but multiple. But in reality, it's not very hard, especially if you've been kind of understanding what we've been doing. This is just super easy. All right, five parentheses x plus two equals 35. That's hard. So what do you think is going to be our first step? Uh, oh, can, to make, make a bar? Candy exchange. Candy exchange. We need to make a bar. We need to distribute? Negative five. Negative five? I meant <laughs> No. The five is attached to that parentheses. So I got to break up this parentheses. I can't do x plus two. I can't do that. I can do five times. Yes, we're going trick or treating. We're doing the distributive property. Everybody gets the five. Five times it and then five times. Yep, so we're going to draw our little arrows. Everybody gets five. Everybody gets five. So write this down five times x plus five times two. So the x gets five and the two gets five. So five to x plus one to ten. Equals. 35, we just bring that straight down, right? How do we know what's 35 uh, Because I told you. Yeah. Just so we're trying to see, like, what number fits here to make it 35, to uh, the whole thing equal 35. So now from here, it's what we did last week on Wednesday and Thursday. So now all this is from last week. This you learned in October. That's why we call it trick-or-treating because you guys learned it in October. Okay? Oh, I know what it is. Right? Oh. So, draw your bars. What did we do last week? What number do I move first? Graphics. Minus 10. Minus 10. We're going to move the 10. Right now it says plus, so you're going to do minus 10, minus 10. So this means multiplication. So what's the opposite? Divide by 5. Divide by 5. X equals? Is it 5? No. This is a something more. So, but it's, it's not new to you. It's something that you learned, like I said, in October, and using it today. So we're basically just putting them both together. Mm -hmm. Which math, that's what math is all about. It's like putting stuff that you learned in the past right now. That's why it's so important that you guys learn how to, and know your multiplication table, because you need it. And your positive and ne negative numbers, you're still going to need them. Kind of like number four on your do now. 12 minus 30. You know. All right, trick or treat first. Let's hurry up and write this down. Let's stay with me. You stay with me. That pencil. Use it. There you go. All right. What do we give? Everybody a four. Everybody gets a four. Everybody gets a four. Four times two X plus four times three. Now it's candy cane, I guess, right? Totally. Everybody gets four cookies. No, four pizza boxes. You should give out four pizza All right. Boxes. What's four times two X? Eight X. Good. Plus, what's four times three? Twelve. All equals fifty-two. So now draw your bars. 
Keep everything separate. Separate and organized. So you're going to move the 12 first. It has a plus sign, so you're going to do minus 12. Is it X equal 7? What's 52 minus 12? Uh, 42. No. 40. 40. No, it's 30. Oh, it's 40. 40. It's 30. What? It's, it's, 30. What? it's not 30. What? How is it not 30? Because it's 2 minus 2. No need to borrow. And then 5 minus 1. No need to borrow. No, because the one minus five is four, and then minus two. Forty-two minus two. Where are you getting your math? <laughs> right. What's two minus two? Zero. Zero. What? What's five minus one? Four. 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 X equals five. five. Which some of you got before, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. that had to go I got one wrong just because I did subtract Yeah, usually your mistakes are just like simple mistakes. I forgot to borrow. Because you know what to do. You know the process. All right. We'll do two more. This one's going to be a little different. No. But there is a subtraction sign. So go trick-or-treating, everybody gets a five. So you do that, you should be able to do that before I do. So distribute, distribute. 5 times 2x minus 5 times 10. What's 5 times 2x? 10x. Minus, what's 5 times 10? 50 Two. equals 60. Four, so, so how do I move the 50? Plus 50. Because right there it says minus, so you're going to... Plus 50 plus 50. Is it x equals 11? 0, 6 plus 5 is 11. Yeah, is. How do I move the 10? Uh, divide by 10. And 110 divided by 10 11. is 11. The whole line means like, it's like a, it's like in kindergarten when you did 10 minus 5, you drew a big line. Oh. That line is the same thing as this line. And depending on your math teacher next year, you'll do it a little bit different, but it's still the same math. All right, one more example. Seven parentheses x minus 3 is equal to 21. Sophia. What do we get when we go trick or treating? Uh, seven x minus Good. Seven x minus one you want. Should you be able to do that without me? Yes, hundred percent. Plus twenty one. What's twenty one? Uh oh. 22. Plus 21. 42 equals 7x. How do I move the 7? Divide by 7. Divide by 7. 
But somebody like, I don't know, can I use my multiplication table? Yes, of course. You can use your multiplication table. Very good. Some of you know it. Uh, remind me <coughs> on the homework when I pass it out. Uh, you're only going to do the evens front and back, but just the evens. So if I forget to tell you, I just told you. Evens for your homework, front and back. Do all of them. Cancel that. But wait, you don't even. Jackie, let's focus on number one. We'll do number one together. We are going to give the three to everybody. So go ahead and give everyone a three. So we're going to do three times 2x plus three times 10. Write this down. Okay, what's 3 times 2x? You get 6x here. Plus, what's 3 times 10? 30. So that's your first step. Give everyone that number outside by multiplying. And then this all still equals 54. Now we're going to draw our bars. What number do we move first? Uh, 30. 30. So minus 30. 24? Mm-hmm. Is it 4? Yeah. Is it x equals 4? Mm-hmm. And then how do I move the 6? Divide by 6 because they're together. They're attached. So we have x equals, and then we do this math. If you need a multiplication table, you can use it. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So we write 4 on the line. What's the hardest one problem? Um, number 5 because it's out of order. You do it with this. Number 5, let's do it together. Because there's number 6 is the same thing. Oh, All right. Number five. Let's do number five together. Let's do number five together. What does everybody get on number five? Nine. A nine. So that's not different nor hard. Everybody gets the number nine. So uh, give everyone a nine. But it's basically the same thing. Yeah, they're just out of order. So what's nine times two? Eighteen. Plus, what's 9 times 3x? 27x. Now, this is where they made a mistake. They're so used to moving that second number that my student's second period moved the 27 first. But the 27 is attached to the x. We have to move the 18 first. So it's like kind of out of order, but you got to move the number that's furthest away from the x. That's 18. How... Do I move the 18? Good. 
minus 18 minus 18. Why aren't you writing this down? 37? Oh, 27. No. Why? Why? Is it 1? It's just X. Is it 1? Okay. Well, what's 15 minus 8? 7. 3 minus 1 is 2. So you get 27 on that side. Equals 27X. So then you divide by 27. Divide by 27. So when you have this top number and the bottom number the same, it's not zero, it's, it's one. one. Because think about it, my answer is one. When I plug it into here, if I put zero here, what's zero times 27? Zero. Zero, but I'm not supposed to get zero, I'm supposed to get 27. So if I plug in a one here, what's 27 times one? 27. 20, oh yeah, that's what I'm supposed to get, I'm supposed to get 27. So not zero, but one. I subtracted and borrowed. Oh, okay. All right, let's get to work. Did you six of those? No, it's the same thing. Hmm? I don't know. It sounds like a metal, a bat hitting something metal, or it's a metal bat. What if the hitting look is? That's not the bat here. Okay, we're doing the whole worksheet. Okay, I think Ruben, you'll be right. 